I can't see. What's up, y'all? Public monetization off. We're gonna go double. Mm. What? That two mics on. Can we turn it one off? I did. Okay. Hopefully that'll work. Let me see what it sounds like. Where can we find out? What's up, y'all? What's up, everybody? What's up? What's up? Unconnected viewer. I don't have to put that fan over here. I wish they would put those smaller caps on there. How do we find out who... There we go. All right. That works. So I'm trying this new thing out here, TikTok. I apologize um, to see if I can have this so you all can see my face. Hopefully this will work. About 185 people. Welcome everyone. What's up y'all? Start. Alright. This is going to get painted on. So I don't really care about the background. So I got some new colors today. I got a new, uh, a, uh, a new lip design as well. I'm going to do a pink lip right now. That is not in focus, is it? How does it look like you can see it? On here. I think it just moved. I think it all moved. <laughs> I apologize, you guys. I'm just like trying to figure out this overhead thing to where y'all can see me or know. You tell me, Jane, on TikTok where we can't like the live anymore. Can you tap on the screen? Heidi? What is that? How does that look, y'all? Good. See, I'm looking at it right now in your phone. That's there's a delay. Sorry so I'm about the move delay, this everybody. Over a little bit. What's up, TikTok? Sorry, we're trying to do TikTok and YouTube at the same time. <laughs> Hello, Ida. You want me to do that? Because you're going to lose your TikTok. Yeah. All right. So, I think I'm going to do... What did I want to do first? I need to do a pink. So, if you're wondering, we do sell these stencils on our website, artistselldeath.com. YouTube is the audio okay? What's up, Stephanie? Biggie? Ida? Okay, 
Thanks you guys for watching. Please tap the screen, subscribe, or follow. We share all the information we have with you guys, so feel free to ask any questions. So, and we're also thinking about selling this as a SVG or just a file that you can download. So what I'm going to do here, I, I was doing this backwards the other day, I think. I was doing the, the black first and then the shadow, but the shadow seems to cover up the, uh, the black and then I have to go over it and I'm not a fan of doing that. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to dry this a little bit. I'm going to put these, uh, the lip and the bottom lip part of the stencil. And when you guys buy these stencils, they all come with the negative part of the, uh, of the color part and of the fill part, which is just the whole outline. And so what this is doing is it's blocking any paint from from going, uh, from getting on the upper lip. You can do that without leaning so far forward. I adjusted the camera. Yeah, I'll turn my head on this. Where's the, uh, I need the shading gray. All right, so I have this transparent. So we're gonna do the transparent. All right, this is covered, yeah. So what this is, is just a, basically a shading gray. So it can give you a nice shadow. And what I like to do with this, give it a nice shadow, let it dry a little bit, and you could layer this. If you buy these stencils from us, these are plastic, so be careful with the heat gun. It will warp them. So just barely hit it if you can. So then you go back just in the corners here where it's dark. So it gives it that illusion of it's really a nice little in depth of the, of the lip part there. And if you can, go up, hit that top part because that's a little darker. But I think that will do it. It's so crazy how it doesn't look like it's that much and then it is that much. Yeah, that's so be look like even with your hat turned around it's a lot in the shot. Just right. there. Well there's your shadow. Now we're gonna do the black. which all you do is line it up and you will definitely oh, will definitely see where you can line it up and all the stencils fit with a 16 by 20 canvas all you have to do is line it up on the canvas and they all should just line up perfect um, these were some of my uh, <laughs> my test trial so I have to line these up so I apologize for the delay but I think that's good all right yeah this is definitely a test one Mm 
normally I, I would spray spray adhesive on these, but there is some on here already. So that's why it kind of sticks. Whoa. There's a whole section. This must be a new old one. Because all of this is still in there. How is that? <laughs> So for y'all that stuck around of the 180 people that were in here before, that was, that's so crazy. That never happens. And I felt like I was ready, getting stuff ready, but man, I get you. You want, you want stuff right away. Immediate gratification. I understand TikTok. I get you. Sometimes you just can't have your way. Love you too. And if you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Our motto here at Artists Till Death is we do the test so you don't have to. This is done, right? Oh, that's the shadow. All right. Thank you. Karen. Sorry about that. So this stencil is technically four pieces, but also you get the positive or negative um shape cut out yeah as well so there's four squares plus the cutout of those in case you need them i don't have the the negative parts of like this black part because they're all separate and small and you don't need them right so don't expect those what brand of spray paint do you prefer to use um i like this it's it's a european paint it just has an A on it. I get it from my from my local graffiti shop. I honestly don't know what the name of it is. It just says A. I it think we tried to it. find this before. Double. It was like AA. Yeah, double A sprinkling. So you guys are going on tour to teach our resin art? Sorry, y'all. I thought I was prepared, but I am not prepared. You said this was an old one, but... All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to line this up. And I think this one actually lines up perfect with the, yeah. Yes, we have spray caps available on our website. Let me double check it. And I like to lightly do this. Just give it a nice little once over. So that you can go in with like a Posca pen and give it a little bit heavier highlight so it looks like it's really glossy. I like using these paints, uh, like these graffiti spray paints. They're 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 a lot more uh, like it's a low pressure if you use these caps as well. Low pressure, very opaque. Um, and you don't have to put a lot down like with with the uh with like the 2x rust-oleum it's just blasting it just blasts out color and it's not as it's not as vibrant or opaque it seems like it takes a little a little bit much um but we do have we do offer uh what do you call it what are they called <laughs> i can't think of the name no, the spray cap, uh, where's that one at? I just had one. Adapter that you could put them on and you could put these on. It's an adapter that goes on these cans that you can put our spray paint caps on. All right. There's that. Look how fun that is. Looking amazing. All right, so now what I like to do with this white is just come up here on the top parts 
and just kind of hit in certain areas mainly the middle part of the highlight so it gives it more of a solid highlight watching both lives thank you so freaking awesome thank you what's up robin square table degenerate how you doing pg i know your hair will look amazing if you guys are just joining us we are streaming both on tiktok and youtube so that's why some people may see comments and some people may not um, we're here to answer any questions you guys may have about spray paint or art or resin we do also have a resin shop thank you debbie also if you're on tiktok um, tap the screen and share our video help us to grow the channel if you're on youtube also share Man, that, that color is really nice. This is transparent. This is called Shadow Gray. It's by Montana, but it's the 94 series. That's a really nice color right there. So, now if you want, you can also... Hi, Joe. The thicker black. Is that it? You can also go in and connect all your smaller lines with a black Posca pin. I don't think I'll make it. And then that way you can kind of give your teeth some extra extra love. Like if you maybe if you're a person with uh, a gap in between your teeth, you can make yourself a nice little gap, which is super unique. Thank you, Debbie. The dragon I got from you, can you do one in purple? Was it one of the dragon cutouts? And then there's some, they're called islands on a stencil to where you can, uh, so that your whole stencil doesn't fall out. That looks so bright, right? Nothing can be done. Man, I bought a few cans of Montana. I don't want to go back to Walmart after that. Yeah, it's, it's a big difference. Montana's really good paint. And if you like, if you like the way that your lip looks with these these little negative spaces, leave it. You can do it pop arty. You can do it any way you want. And if you want, you can actually outline this and put a drip in your outline as well. So you can have a double drip. Thank you, Evelyn, for reminding people to do thumbs up. You have a black and red one. Oh, yeah. We can do a purple one. I want to do a black and gold one. I don't know how much gold we have, but I was thinking about it on the way home, and I want to do black lips with a gold background, or gold lips with a black background, and then do gold uh, hexagons in there, honeycomb shape. I think we would have enough for that. Everything looks so tan on YouTube Live. It's so beautiful. <laughs> it's, it lies. It's a filter. I 
know if you can see me here, but not tan. <laughs> you're you're pretty tan. How do we get how? That's so funny to me. So TikTok, thank you for joining us. Sorry that we're not so uh, ready as we would like to be, but I know um, you guys want it instant, 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 which I totally understand. So I want to try to do something fun to where I'm going to have black, white, and gold. A dark background. We'll do a dark. This will be a little. This is a little bit darker. You know? Let's try. It. We're going to try a purple. Robin said, do a purple dragon. Send me an invoice, please. Can do. Uh, what other, you just want a purple one or just whatever colors I want to put with the purple? Woo. Either way, thank you, Cinder Block. I appreciate that. So, where are all nine of you all from? <laughs> and if you could please hit that like, tap the screen, even if you can uh, copy and save link, you could send it if you want. Uh, just go down, hit those little buttons, the little black and black little dots share it's a share link just copy it if you want to share it be more than welcome but i guess if you don't have to share it all right just if you copy it that helps us as well apparently yeah thank you for all the likes and the hearts yeah it's like skipping All right, so I'm just gonna kind of dry this off. That'll be the because of why. It's warm out for me. It's never glitchy. Yeah. But you're fine on your phone. No, yeah, that's good. Maybe it's just us. TikTok is everything broadcasting okay? YouTube is everything broadcasting okay? Up to you. I know it'd be amazing. Just put purple in it. I will get you an amazing purple dragon, Robin. Who the heck is that? Nope. That's not the. That's not the. That's the example I need. All right. So let's do it this way. Alrighty. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I wanna put, I wanna put these, I'm gonna put these magenta honeycombs down. And then I'm gonna make it look like there's a shadow behind them. So just bear with me, y'all. Gabriel getting ready for kindergarten graduation, but had to watch, LOL. Well, y'all have an awesome time at graduation. When is your next fire sale? We need to plan one. I will ask Vamp. She runs my schedule now. Delaware in the club. Hello, Karen. Drippy liquid gold drips on matte black would be so hot. I agree. JJ, how you doing? Hello, Gabe. What's up, Gabe? All right, so what I want to do is we're going to switch sides. And 
if it works, I'm going to line this up. Can you put that fan over here a little bit more? Gold. Should I put gold on here? You always like putting gold. What about rose gold? So if you guys so notice, you I still gold. have I still have that cover. Just it's a literally just a solid piece that you get with your stencils. Do you that fits all the way over? Rose gold would be nice. Let's do that. All right, I'm gonna add a little rose gold. Hope you're having an awesome day, Judy. So I'm going to add a little, a little rose gold. Hopefully these line up. Sometimes this just doesn't want to line up. And it's because I hand cut this. I literally hand cut this whole stencil out of uh, poster board. It's really not that noticeable, but you can see it. Yeah. If I sprayed it solid, you'd be able to see it a little bit better. Can you guys see that? All right, so now I'm going to take the same purple, and I'm just going to go around this. Well, we love each other. So it's kind of like in the back, glowing, hopefully, is what it looks like. Honey says we love it. Which I don't think that's going to look right. It's going to look like wood liner? Dan says, I really like your lip paintings. If you guys are lucky, maybe he'll do spoon paint. Or you gotta be a little lucky. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna look right. I was thinking it's gonna look like it's going behind it. We'll see. No. Not a fan. All right, let's do this. So these are all, these are, I'm just getting used to these stencils, so y'all could just bear with me. <laughs> I mean, it kind of reads as a shadow on there, but... If it goes missing... Are you talking about the hex stencil, ah. Evelyn? You said, if it goes missing, it may get So Linda says, nice. That's fun. 
I don't hate that. Yeah, it looks good with the rose gold. Yeah. All right, so now what I want to do, where's the hole cut out? I need the hole. This is the negative part. It should be over there with that stuff. I don't know why it's getting mixed up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave this, I'm going to leave this part on here. We're going to lay the, it's literally the opposite of what this piece is. It's the negative part. I'm going to just move it over to the side. I'm going to drop it down. So if you want to, you can line it up. See, that's perfect, right? There's a delay on TikTok. Yeah, I know. Um, what you do is just drop it down. And let me think where the highlights are. All the highlight, the hollow highlights are up here, here. So the shadows will be going that way. Move it over to the left a little. You can have this as, as much as you want. Very important to consider light source when you have and shine. And use shadow. your transparent. I could probably use that purple, but I think this transparent, what is this? This is a great, this is called shadow gray. I think it makes it dark enough when there's other paint. It, it really makes it look like it's a shadow. It's crazy that the shadow gray is darker than shadow black. Evelyn says, I would drive from Florida to Texas just for the hex um, skistle. Okay. Could this be done with a paint on a sponge? I'm no fan of spray paint. Um, you could, but I you definitely would have to really put spray adhesive down to really put your stencil down so it doesn't move and you don't get anything underneath it. And make sure it's really dry in between layers. Yeah. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put a little outline, but it's gonna be kind of a fun outline. And my best Rhonda voice, this could be an online lesson kit. You know, it could be. If I didn't have to put a whole bunch of spray paint in a can, in a box to ship out. What's up, Petra? How are you doing? Your molds and geodes have been looking amazing as usual. Belinda, thank you so much for the comments. El Spicy says, hi, everyone. Just wanted to congrats on the wedding. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. So what is your process when you add those lines? Um, I'm just kind of making it sporadic and just kind of giving it some texture, some movement, some fun contrast between the light blue and the pink and the purple. I think that blue is a great separation between the foreground and the background. Yeah. I'm just kind of giving it some motion, I guess you could say. You know what I'm saying? I do. So our stencils and spray paint caps are available on our website, artisttilldeath.com. That's with two T's and two L's. Uh, we also uh, have these completed pieces if you guys are interested in any of these pieces. They're so much fun. I have no idea what Jeff's going to sell them for, but we sell artwork and ship it around the world every day. That's basically what we made these for, so y'all can buy these stencils or the SVG or the vector. We haven't put the vector or the SVG up, 
but we want to make it to where you can download it. You can make them as big or small or manipulate it as you want. Um, and so you can go to little art festivals or uh, just craft shows, craft shows or Fair. wherever. Make stuff and put it online and do what you want. And make some money from it. I always say, if you can do it better than me, more power to you. Mm -hmm. uh, did it shut off? No, I think it's just that. I don't know why that's acting up. Um, I accidentally tapped it with this canvas. Jillian says, hi all, congrats on the wedding. Not often I get to catch a live. Thank well, we're happy you. to have you here. Perfect finishing touches, Jeff. I always say that painting tells us what it wants. That's true. You definitely go by that. All right, I'm going to try this black canvas. I haven't used a black canvas yet. I'm going to try to move y'all's camera. So this, oh, this is a prune. Very generous for selling your files. Oh, where's the small one at? The small prune. All right, so I don't know why, I just, I know you could paint your canvas black, but I figured this will be a time saver. The only problem with that is, there's another piece missing, that small one right there. Um, you have to paint the teeth in white. So that is a little bit of a, all right, so what I would do is just spray that white yeah. Dry it. Actually, no. This is what you would do. You would put this down. Put this back in the stencil. And put this all the way at the top. You would have to have this taped off though. So let's just try that. And if you want, you can you can spray whatever. We need some paper. It's like you have to be going full force to keep everybody's like attention on TikTok, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do this. I'm going to put this over that, put this over that so these edges don't get painted. That's really not a big deal, but I still want to block that off. And see, that's the good thing with these spray cans, with these tips. It's a, it's, it's, it gives it such a low pressure and like a nice even flow that it's not blowing your stencil out of the, out of the way, out of the water. All right. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave that in there. I'm going to leave these spaces in here and do the, do the, uh, shadow first. Yeah. Evelyn's like near Orlando. That's so great. That's cool you guys drop. So I'm just going to drop this down. We're going to make a, a nice... I'm just going to do a regular... See, it's crazy how this really doesn't even look like there's any... gray coming out, but there is. Now we have the teeth. What? All right, let's do this. So you have your teeth painted. Let me put this back. 
because we're going to do the color now. But what we have to do, we have to put the teeth covering. You have to put this over your teeth so that you don't get any paint on your teeth. <laughs> These take a little getting used to, a little practicing. I would definitely practice with these before you start doing anything crazy or expensive canvases wise. I just got these canvases at Michael's. So we're gonna do a light. Let's do, we're gonna do this light. What is this? Foreign Tira Blue. this up. But yeah, people are always asking us about lip prints and if people steal our ideas or whatnot. And we're like, what, how do we, how do you steal an idea of a lip? Like people have been painting lips since the sixties and seventies, like, Thank you, Evelyn. Hey, Shane. I hope you have an awesome day at work. Chris Probst. Look at Thornton winging it. True artist. Love it. Chris, Congrats, what's up, way, bud? Too. He's the one that we did the uh, Audrey Hepburn with the donut. Oh, yeah. Love that yeah. piece. No lipstick on your teeth, right? So, if you guys want... In a little bit, I'll break out the airbrush because I got them ready. Um, so if you guys want to learn anything with airbrush, I'm about ready to do it. Not on this one because of the angle of this. I don't want to, this is a long, I'm going to do a drip on this. All right, so now, bada bing, bada boom. What's up, Robin? Take these out. Now we're going to take this black. This is the uh, all the outline of the stencil. This is all the outline of the teeth and the lips and whatnot. Love the airbrush. Hope you're all having an amazing day. Please subscribe if you haven't already or follow if you're on TikTok. Ooh, what if I did this in gold? I was going to do it in this color so you could see it better. Because I liked how that test turned out. Joe says I did my first stencil, sea turtle and a baby. I think it turned out pretty good for the first time. Use gloss gel and topped with TLP mixed with gloss gel. It sounds like it'd be beautiful, Joe. Does it help to share to all social media or one more than others? Sorry, I have no clue. It just helps know. to share it. I think it just helps get it out. Like get it out in TikTok land. TikTok wants what YouTube wants is to drive more traffic to their platform. So any type of sharing or um, engagement, like leaving comments and stuff, that's what they want to see. That'll help us rank higher in like the suggested channels or pages. We need to put these and really help us to gain subscribers. I really appreciate that. Like that right? Vendor. All right, so this is the white. Shane says, yes, I want to learn everything of the airbrushing that you can teach us. Open up a brain and just <laughs> empty it out into my brain. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. So this one, I'm going to have to really put this stuff down because this is white. And if you don't think white will get on stuff, it does. Overspray is... Uh, 
a real thing when it comes to white and black. So that's why I love these, these caps because they're so low pressure. It doesn't spit out a ton of paint all at once. That probably super helps when you like have older cans that you have to shake up a lot before you can use them anyways. Yeah. Look how fun that is. I think you should fit gold or silver. Oh, use. I think you should use a gold or silver. Evelyn said, oh yeah, to me too, what Shane said. Chris says, oh yes, Airbrush Master, that's my favorite. I still have the retro shoes you did years and years back. Oh my gosh. All right, so now I'm just gonna take this cover we are going to have some fun with some paint, with some Posca pens. TV's in the car listening. We're going to do some paint around this. We're going to do some Miami colors, meaning like Miami as an old, fun, Miami says, color. I'm back in the car listening. Jagger James Salon enjoyed your live and your wedding pictures. Fancy, huh? No, I'm just going to try to I'm just trying to barely spray so I can get uh, some drips. I feel like diamonds are a girl's best friend vibe in this one. See, I'm barely pressing on this so that you got some of this teal coming out and like. Diamonds are a girl's best friend vibe in this one, but if diamonds are a girl's best friend in an alley, like high glam, edgy, edgy glam, you guys make the stencils? Yes, we do. And you can get it. Both that looks like two fun. spotlights, like on it. I'm very sad that there's not a really long drip. Oh, I'm going to put a really long drip. I love that one. I wish TikToks would be a little bit more vibrant. It is definitely not vibrant. Um, yes, we do make the stencils. We cut them. And if you guys just joined us, all eight of you, or unless you're the same people, <laughs> thank you. Um, and you just, either you just started watching or you missed some stuff, this will be on a live replay on our uh, YouTube channel, Artists Tell Death. And if you're interested in the stencils, we sell them on our website as well, artiststelldeath.com. I don't have these up yet. 
but soon there will be. Julian says, gotta get ready for work. Have a fabulous day or night, everyone. We'll watch Thank the balance you. of this later. Loving learning from you all day long. Thanks. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Chris, we're also on TikTok. Um, TikTok typically has a shorter attention span than YouTube. So, yeah, there's eight on TikTok. I love how it looks wet. Me too. Chrissy says, hey, y'all, was watching your TikTok. Wanted to come over and say hi to everyone over here. Well, what's up, girl? So when Jeff does a drift, he always wants to make sure it's really, really straight. So he always uses a yardstick that has the T on the top of it. Work smarter, not harder. Thank you for the link, Evelyn. Way cool, love spray paint. What's up, what's up? You guys are fun to watch. Well, thank you. This is your first live with us? Ah. Ah. Oh, leave girl cat alone. Ah. Okay. All right. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna outline. First, I'm gonna do the inside. Tell my husband that. I forgot what I said. Or what you said. What did you say? Probably know. something about you gotta have fun. It sounds like something you said. So how many different lip stencils do you have? So on the website we only have one. We have the lip bite. We haven't put prune face up yet uh we wanted to make sure we had the stencil right and had them in stock so that we don't have just orders waiting to go out but hopefully we'll have those up real soon thanks christy it's actually just a hoodie i have actually a shirt on Can you give me a dark teal um Posca pin it's the big one I'm just going over these white highlights so it kind of gives it more of a little glow because this is a little bit lighter than the teal I used. So I want to try to tie that color completely in. Are you wear it well? So my general wardrobe style is one shoulder. It's very on brand for me. We'll tell your husband that. Robin says, I know you do pet paintings. Can you do like my grandson on his BMX bike if I send you a picture? <laughs> totally the same. No, unfortunately I, I, uh, I will not do that. Uh, and the reason is because I'm, I'm not a fan of, uh, of painting children. Um, I've tried and it just is not my forte, I guess you could say. Um, kids are very difficult to paint. So uh, Jeff really likes to have a lot of shadows and um, character in the face. Not that babies don't have character, but usually they're very plump faces with like no wrinkles, no defining lines, no shadows. 
And so, unfortunately, I tried to get him to paint for my niece, for his nephew. And he just, you know, if you're not interested intellectually in something sometimes, you're not, you can't put your best work out if you're not interested in it. Like in history, I probably could have gotten good grades, but since I wasn't interested in it, I didn't want to put the work in. So I think that is kind of, I don't want to speak for him, but since he's already, I'm going to speak for him. It's just not his style, I guess. Yeah. It's just me. But thanks for asking, Robin. I'm sorry. I'm looking for stencils to use on big pieces of furniture, maybe. Love the honeycomb. Tell my husband, work smarter, not harder. Oh. Yeah. Oh. All the husbands Jen's husband, that. smarter, not harder. Also, what size are you, are you thinking? The biggest one we have right now online is 16 by 20, but. What? The stencils. Oh, yeah. 16 by 20. Actually, we don't even have the honeycomb ones on the website, but we're planning on it as soon as I, we I, get I, the cut. I made a new one. So um, it'll be 27 by 16 or 17. Something like that. Um, great this analogy. This blends in really well. Like, I don't hate that. I try. What kind of spray paint is that? Uh, I just got it from my local graffiti shop which one did you just use 94 this is 94 from montana the label i guess the series is 94. this is a very low pressure like some of these are really low pressure and it says it on the can and they're all matte there's no gloss in any of these but yeah what if you made a stencil of the grandson on a bike? That would be probably more difficult than actually yeah. painting him. Yeah. So also, let me show you just kind of work his style. Oops. This is the one he's working on right now. Rather edgy. Not, it's, it's hyper-realistic in a fun way. If that makes sense. Um, send me a message on what size honeycomb you're interested in, and maybe we can figure something out. I really do know how to spell. Words are hard. Awesome. Thank you. Now I'm just kind of putting like little highlights here where the the lip, there might be some here. So it's not something you can buy Walmart. The stencil? No. I've never seen one. Walmart likes to get in on stuff, so you never know. Also, Walmart, if you're watching, I'll lease my uh, SBG up to you. What's up? Yeah, what's up? Not sponsored, but if you're watching, So that's super fun. I love this. I love that purple or the the pink, and then just the light, the lightness of those honeycombs. Like, look at it on camera. It looks like there's spotlights going up. And that overhead camera is the she sizzle. This is our new camera, by the way, for our YouTube. If you guys want to see like two two different angles, a little bit better than one than you see there, <laughs> you can go to our YouTube channel. And it probably looks a little better on YouTube as well. That is, that's what I saw when I, when I did this, like. Put it down, B. No spray paint. Oh no, you cannot get Montana 64, nope, 94 at Walmart. You have to go, you can probably order it from Montana. I think they're out of Germany, so it's gonna cost you a little bit in shipping. Most head shops, head shops, have them or like uh, smoke shops 
or if you have a graffiti type store, which is where Jeff gets his in Dallas, it's called the Rec Shop. It's for skateboarding and spray paint. Spray paint. You can't words, and neither can I today. Just say it. Thornton doesn't do well with rules. Okay, I didn't want to like <laughs> spell it out, but he definitely follows his own checklist, rule book, what have you. Oh, so you're totally right. I love it. I love how like subtle that other, the teal is, the aqua teal, whatever that is. I don't hate it. I'm happy. All right, let's do, did I do a large bite already? I didn't, right? You did that bite. Oh, yeah. All right, now we got, that's, see, when you get in a zone, your area just tends to get a little messy. That's what happens when people get in. And you know what I thought about c coming home from getting these canvases? I want to do a canvas with like three or four lips on one. Literally just the corners or the side or the top or, you know, like just layer them. Just do one and then just basically start over and do another one. But like... Just layers and layers of... Are you doing transparent? No, it'll just be like they're just kind of all over. So it'll look kind of like a graffiti wall of wood. The people are painting over. Basically. All right, so let's do... Are all the paints you use the same brand? Um, most of them are Montana and uh, black label can but we do also use a lot of the 94 which is also Montana it is in the white can we also use a lot of the Montana in the gold cans they're all by Montana but they do they're chemically different so they look a little bit different um, and then he uses the double A spray paint as well I'm afraid to use this because I know we don't have any left do you want to use a different gold there's this one and then there's this one over here, which is a brighter gold. This is like the best gold you can get. Both of you, YouTube and TikTok. This is like the best gold. Yeah, I don't uh -huh. like this gold though. Well, those are your options. Yeah, you can use this, but this is good. You get this at Home Depot. You get this at the graffiti shop. There's not even one anywhere. This is the last one. I know there's not going to be enough in here. But let's try it. <laughs> All right. We're just going to use this sparingly, okay? <laughs> I'm sure you probably have, but have you epoxied over your artwork? We have. We've epoxied over it and we've painted over it. We actually did a lit piece. Look at that, y'all. There's like hardly any spray paint in here. And because of how I'm just barely pushing on the... God, I could probably do another one. I want to save some of this for the... Uh, and it dries really fast. The thing is, it's really humid here today. That countertop I just saw was amazing. Well, thank you, Dust here. The geode one, I assume, yeah? So this is a lip we put over a pour. That's gold. We're gonna break the airbrush out for this one, y'all. Looks like a pile of skulls. I love it. That's a that looks visual. Right. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna break this black out. 
So I'm using uh, a mixture of golden high flow airbrush paint with Medea, which is another type of airbrush paint, a smoke black and a transparent gray. And I kind of mix them together. So the black isn't so harsh, but it darkens the transparent gray. <laughs> it's kind of one of those, um, you got to do it right or it will not look good. You see, this is like a perfect shade right here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go give all these underneath here. You know what I should do? I'm just going to do a big, a big shadow first. Um, do you get them on Amazon or do you sell them? I'm assuming you're talking about the spray paints. Do you get them from a uh, skateboard shop called Rick Shop in Dallas? It is not a chain. You can, I think, get them on Blick, BigBlick.com. I don't know about Amazon. But most head shops or smoke shops have spray paints. Love golden. What's your favorite resin to use for small things? Our favorite resin to use for most things is stone coat, art coat. This you can actually get on our channel. Nope. Our website, artistsforget.com. I use that for everything except for our ocean painting. Oh, this is an old stencil. Uh, we're happy to answer any questions you have about airbrush, spray paint, acrylic, glitter, frosty, epoxy, body paint, minerals. <laughs> we do basically everything except for oil paint. So what's your thought process when you're adding this shadow in particular? Um, my thought process is just to give it a little dimension, a little curvature, so it's not so flat. So what, when I, I'm going to do the, uh, the lip. Look how bright that is on TikTok. Like it just like does not like that at all. Um, give me the, give me this. We're going to do the shadow first. We're going to give it a, a good, nice size shadow. OMG, I missed y'all. It's been so long. Ian Jeff, congrats on the wedding. It was beautiful. Valerie, thank you so much. Cannot wait to get our video back. I need the negative Post of this real. and the negative of the bottom lip. So like I said before, when you guys get your stencils, this part, the coloring part, this is what I call the coloring part, will come with the top and the bottom negative part of the lip. So, since this is at an angle, I'm going to put a little bit of spray adhesive and I use this stuff. And it comes with a really, it's crazy because this cap gets clogged up, but it's never been clogged to where it stops. Like, it blows my mind. Um, you just have to clear it away or it'll spray funny ways. It will. So I'm going to cover up this part of the lip so I don't get any paint on there. I'm going to cover up. If you guys don't know, he's spraying the spray adhesive and he's letting it dry just a little bit before putting it down because the Especially on this. residue will show on some spray paint. Yeah. Like if you have a very slick, like if you're painting on something very slick or smooth, it might leave a residue. So, and don't be afraid. You can, you can kind of come up above your lip right here, just a little bit to where it'll get a little bit of the color just under the lip. So it kind of makes it look more rounded. It's not a stupid question, but my mother bought me a spray makeup kit. Do you think I use it for paint? Good. Are you talking about an airbrush kit? 
How much are these? Jojo, are you asking about the stencil that we're using? Because we do sell those, so you can make your own if you wish. Or are you asking about the finished look painting? Getting shadowy. Oh, it is. This is a different. The painting. Um, it depends on what size you're looking at. We have a 16 by 20. Or 11 by 14. And an 11 by 14. I don't think that's the same stencil. It um, isn't because of. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. It's the same one. Okay. Sorry, I've made like four or five of these. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, I'm not going to use the black spray paint for this because I I want to be able to uh, come in with the airbrush and kind of connect everything together so it's all cohesive and uh, very light. Actually, I could. If I could just hit this with the black, just these hard lines that I need and then the other stuff with the airbrush. That would be perfect. So I'm going to use this. It's a low pressure. Does this say low pressure on here? Best performance European quality. This stuff is really good. I, I like this paint. All right. So what I'm going to do. Let's do that. Let's, let's do this so we know we're not going to paint above that. Now we're just going to wing it. You guys are you guys are on board. Ready? <laughs> Ready. I'm um, just gonna try to hit just this part here so that I get it nice and solid. And then these parts will just get a little bit of spray paint, but not too much. And then I'm gonna hit it with the airbrush. Yes, you can use an airbrush makeup gun and machine compressor um you're not gonna be able to do really large pieces because of uh, the small compressor that comes with those isn't going to be able to push enough air out and i think the needle for that is more detail sized anyway so you're not gonna be able to do a huge piece but you would be able to put uh airbrush paint through an airbrush makeup machine that being said make sure you clean it out really well in between because you don't want to end up getting paint paint on your face that will be a very not good day and your face may not react well to that either. this gray might be a little bit too transparent for this that is so pretty thank you jen Vinny, what's up i want my 80s back yes, welcome. what is the price on 11 by 14. Stencil? Piece. The painting. Oh, of um, shoot. I don't know. I honestly, I. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I think the other day we, we haven't were doing sold any. For, I think introductory, so it'd be fifty dollars including shipping. Domestic for the U.S. Something crazy. So if you do want to commission one, you can pick the lip color, but we have artistic license for the background and any adding stuff to the background, but you can choose the main lip color. And you can choose size if you want to commission one while we're live. You can do that. Just shoot a payment over to PayPal. All Are you right. going to use it at all? Ready? It. Here we go. Mommy, mommy, mommy. No, oh, see how not harsh that was? I think that works really well. Yeah. Still gives you some harsh lines here, detail, but then right here they're not so, you know, blah, blah. Blah, blah. Blah, blah. All right. Hi, Julie. Welcome to the live. Now, you can take your... Thank you, Jojo, for the 
I'm going to darken in the teeth shadow right here, just underneath the lip. Give it a little bit more depth. Hey, darken in this because that tooth is pretty much covered by the shadow. That would look super Put some little better. edges in the teeth. Thank Give you this so tooth everyone. some shadow. It's always losing it over there. I think some special talent, I think, because, yeah, I don't think I'd be good at this. I, I'm sure. You would if, if you just took your time and just practiced with them. That's what's so easy. You just lay them down, spray it. You don't have to go into detail like this. You don't you don't have to get crazy. You just get do it as comfortable as you want, and it'll just kind of come to you. It'll just kind of be like, ooh, what if I tried this? Or, ooh, what if I use this color? And then it just kind of all comes together in the end. Yeah, woo. Woo, woo. Tammy Anderson, what's up, lady? If you guys don't know, Tammy will be coming through to do a class with us first week of August. You have to be here. Where else would you be? You can get info on my class with her and her class with me on our website, artistholdup.com. I want Jeff to teach me how to airbrush this, Tammy. Well, she'll be here. Tinder says, you do great with your attention to detail. I love it. I'm OCD. Uh, Jeff has same, same. full tendencies. Tammy is coming down south. What I'm doing is just making this line a little bit more pronounced um, because I don't I don't want to like draw the line on here because they're really these teeth are more of an edge a rounded edge next to another rounded edge so it's not a square if you know what I mean. Hey Jan. I'm just using this as a hand stencil so it blocks off. Okay. That sounds like something fell off a truck out there. I'm going to do some detail up here. Am I blocking y'all? Typically, yeah. Let me see if I, can do this. I think this arm actually moves slightly. I'm going to need to get a different arm for that. If you're wondering about the airbrush I'm using, I'm using a, a Iwata Eclipse. Is it SBC? HP CS. What happened? I'm putting you on oh. the side of you. All right, so, yeah, but then they can't see the mirror. Unless you guys don't care to see about my face on TikTok. <laughs> person just unloaded their whole car and is just dragging it up the alley. So what I'm doing here is I'm just rounding up from the bottom of the lips. I'm just gonna put a Nice little heavy shadow, boink, and just bring that up. I'm going to move you guys around TikTok. And I haven't even put the white on yet. See, it would depend, like when you guys, if you ask for how much for one of these, this one would be a lot more than the one I just made. Like the one I just made, maybe 75, 85 bucks. This one would probably be, I would say 150 to 200. Chris Probst said, man, you've always had an amazing eye for shading. Just makes a good painting great. Thank you, Chris. How are you doing? How's the wife and kid? 
Thank you, Evelyn, for the link. Roxanne says, glad to catch this live. Just got my first airbrush. Hoping to get it out of the box today. Roxanne, congratulations. You're going to love it. doing awesome Tammy how are you doing we're all good and safe just navigating this crazy work bro. Nice. Good to hear. Okay. So let's dry this a little bit. <laughs> TikTok is still here. Thanks TikTok for hanging around. I know it's a little crazy, a little slow for your taste, which I understand. I'm glad you're welcome. All right, so now we're going to hey, need the white. Need the white. This white? Yeah. shadows on the wrong side. I really did the shadows on the wrong side. <laughs> so, and you notice me kind of looking and seeing if the the uh, these highlights are going to be in the right spot. If you buy these stencils from us, they all fit directly over the 16 by 20. So all you have to do is put it on, line up the edges, front, side, whatever you want to call it. Um, and it should just match all together like it's good fit. You don't have to sit there and rearrange it Unless you want to Unless you want it off or what, However, you want to do it. That's completely up to you with her shins menagerie says Thornton, I should have said Thornton I mean, I'm fine with plural Which you wonderful Woman owned Wichita Falls, Texas, small business. What's well, up? Hello, hello. You can say Thornton. I'm glad. I'm happy to be with the Thornton. Um, if you guys are on TikTok, please consider sharing our video. Tap the screen for like. Trying to build our ooh. It might be a little heavy for my taste, but especially with the gold. And on YouTube, you guys so, are always so great to us. What I'm going to do, I did this harsher because I'm going to take the airbrush, the white airbrush, and give it some gleam. And you know, if you wanted to, with this particular stencil, if you can, if you get a partner or you're, if you're steady hands enough, if you want to just hold this over your, your, your piece and spray it to where there's about maybe a half inch to an inch gap, what that'll do is it'll give it, it'll still go. It'll obviously go through the stencil, but it'll give you kind of a hard edge on some of this but it'll kind of make it what would that be shine kind of like a yeah. highlight yeah do you want to do that no, you hold it? no i'm gonna use airbrush so but instead thank you amy that, walker i'm going to oh amy walker what's up 
What color for the background? How about black sparkle? So we're not going to add glitter to these, I don't think. We're, I don't have any of it out, but um, we'll do some with glitter for you guys. Also, background with glitter is so difficult because that's where people like to hold it to move it around, and that will knock a lot of glitter off. Off. Amy, thank you for sharing. I really appreciate it. See, I would love to have a gold to go in between these. So that kind of glow halo-ness that he's adding with the airbrush is what you can get by holding your stencil a little bit away from your teeth and then spray painting. That'll keep the spray paint in that area, but I don't know. I don't know if I like this. I think it's covering up too much gold. Hmm. You know what I can do? Where's my gold paint pen? Here's mine. I wonder if you could. It's going to be a slightly different color gold. Oh, I know. This one's charged. This one is brand new and it doesn't mix, which is really funny. Amy says we could use some cool witchy art to sell in a shop wink face nudge nudge. Oh yeah? I am right. down for painting witchy stuff. Heidi, I'm sure that we're going to come up with an awesome color for the background of this. If you want to cover a lot of that gold up, you can use that like scratchy type application like we do on some of my messy flip pieces. Uh, what kind of witchy stuff are you looking for, Amy? Big pieces, lip pieces, full witch on a broom, or more like witchy implied? So this paint pen that he's using is a pen touch, probably. Yeah. And they're really awesome until they're not. And they're usually not about halfway through the amount of liquid that's in them for just no reason. I have no idea. It just gets old super quick. Um, I'm not sure what, if it'll dry a little bit of a different color or if it's just going on that way, but. It's going to be amazing either way. That's fun. Just gives it kind of some highlights. It doesn't even look gold on TikTok. Yeah, it looks brass. It looks dirty. It just looks like a rich gold. All right. Maybe it's pretty to cover up. Be this year. It doesn't have enough on it. But I don't understand why it's not here. Jerry, good afternoon. How are you today? Heidi, Valerie both said love this. Anything moon phases and runes. Do you have a size or budget in mind? Shoot us a DM. Let's start talking about this. Amy says it looks gold. Oh, is this one where it's like, oh, this is going to be a. Where is the one or two? All right, so what this is going to do is going to clean up all the edges. If you don't like, I do have the one where we could put a glowing something around it, but Jerry says that looks cool. Chris says, don't be scared to experiment. Even with the thousand times you've done these, you still just keep 
try new stuff, and that's awesome. We do the test, so nobody else has to. Within resin, morning literally just opened my eyes, still in bed. Well, happy to be your cup of coffee. I just smiled at you on the camera that you're not even on within resin because I'm smart. I'm sorry you're not feeling well, Valerie, but I'm glad to see your face. Yes, we are on live for YouTube as well. So if you guys on TikTok, did you guys see my my post? I don't know if it's a post or it goes on my page where it says, I'll be live at 2 p.m. today. It was a countdown. Yeah. I'm interested to see if that got noticed or what it looked like. I just noticed that YouTube could see me step in my face with popcorn for the past four minutes. Mm -hmm. I could hear it. Mm. Sorry, everybody. Julie says, getting ready to do my first resin beach scene. So nervous. Don't be nervous. Keep in mind that with the white, less is more. Good thing resin says, what's up, YouTube people? Mind your white. Can people purchase the Hexagon stencil too? So, yes, in a minute. <laughs> We're going to have them live on the website, but I haven't um, gotten a definitive size of the stencil yet, so I haven't put them up there, but they will be available. Kelly Thornton said, so much talent. Kelly, what's up? So everybody say hi to my uncle. Hi, uncle. Uncle Kelly was a hit at the wedding. Was. Your whole family was a super hit. Exactly. You got this, Julie. So I'm barely pressing on this can. So I'm getting like a lot of just kind of splatter. I want just kind of a hint of, of color in some places and some I want it to be quite a bit. Do you make your own stencils? Jerry, we do make our own stencils and we are putting them up on the website artiststilldeath.com for you to also get your hands on them so that you can create your own custom lip pieces or you're welcome to buy a custom one from us. Also, and additionally, we're going to be adding an SPG or a vector file onto our website for download in case you don't need a tangible version of our stencils. You want something that you can manipulate. Yeah, words are hard for me today. But, so yeah, Jerry, we make our own stencils. Stencils are great to use when you have a design that you like. Like for us, it's the hexagons. And it just makes it easier to incorporate it into artwork without having to paint or tape off the design elements that you like. I don't know how you just shaking that paint showed all the cameras. <sighs> I know our floor is not going to be. Should I put this pink glow around this? You weren't a fan of it on the last one you did. The purple glow. Well, what I was trying to do is make it look like it was kind of sunk in, but spray paint is very difficult to use in a tight setting like that. So why don't you airbrush a glow? Because I don't have that color. I don't want to take it off. You want me to get you just fill up a different airbrush? Mm -hmm. 
Let's see what this coal is. Mm, I think you're right. It needs yeah, something. I need like, well, because this is going into this. Yeah, it does need something. The gold. Maybe a pink out, like pink glow, and then like an aqua outline. But I guess we've been doing pink aqua and gold a lot. Thank you for all the heavy tap tap likes on TikTok. And thank you for all the thumbs up on the YouTube. Oh, this is going to be nice. I can already tell. My control is down. All I'm doing to get this effect is I'm trying to stay on this side of the lip stencil. And then whatever goes over, that's what I'm kind of wanting. Just just a little hint. So essentially just barely more than overspray. Yes. Stephanie said, yes, blow. Down the road, just message that he is at Art Co. May I have time for one more after this one? So I think what I'll do after this, I'm going to do a white outline. Woo! Look at that, y'all. We're listening to some smooth jazz. Yeah, I am not a fan of the white on here. What I think I'm going to try to do, I don't know if this is going to work right. My dad said, why is your hand shaking, LOL? I'm liking a video, I said. His face was priceless. <laughs> she was tapping the screen vigorously. Thank nice. you so much for that. Thank you so much. Thank you for annoying your uh, parent. Or just making that person wonder what is happening. Right. Are you Hi, okay? Denise. So I'm gonna take some of this gold and I'm just gonna spray over it a little bit. I don't know how this is gonna look. Valerie, are you asking about, you You don't sell just the little bottles of stone coat resin, do you? Are you talking about the half gallon bottles or are you talking about the minis? The bottle size that we carry are somewhere. Oh, I was right. That doesn't look good. I can't reach it. So the size that we sell are the half gallons, as well as if you buy a complete resin kit from us, there's the eight ounce kit. Jelly! <laughs> okay. What? I know. I know. Is it because the white wasn't dry? No, it's because the white, the, the airbrush on the outside. Oh. <laughs> All right, so let's try something here. I know Why don't we'll you do. just put the lip over it? We'll spray. No worries, Vamp. I know you're working on your wall. Um, Valerie, we sell the half gallon kits as well. Do not try this at home. What's happening? I'm just gonna be going over it all this. Oh, you're just spot painting? So Jeff has a really great can control. And so what he's saying is don't try this at home as so by can control, I mean he is really good at putting spray paint where he wants it and not much else beyond that. And so that he didn't cover up all his airbrush, he's being very particular about where he was spray painting. 
You can still see the highlights though, because that's quite a bit of paint. <laughs> I think just put white over the highlight area, right? Just a little bit. I don't know because the gold is too shiny. Yeah. You have to put some white because there's still some white showing. I know that's crazy. Like you could see it on the camera in person. It's it's way different looking. From like down here, I can see it just here and here. Um. Look, that's the beauty of a stencil too. Very, very true. A stone coat the only resin you use. So it's not. We use different resin for different applications. Stone coat is our main jam. We use it for most everything. I don't use it for oceans because it doesn't give me ocean wave cells like I would prefer. So we use just resin epoxy for that. Um, I was using artistry epoxy for the tumblers that we did for the wedding because it was like a quick coat. It was a two hour cure, 15 minute working time, but it has UV. So that's why I didn't use quick coat. I used artistry epoxy for that. I'm not affiliated with Artistry Epoxy. Their resin is very pricey, uh, but if you were in a pickle, like I was, and needed a whole bunch of tumblers really, really fast. But Josh is awesome. Also Josh, Josh is awesome. We've got him a little crew over there. What's happening? I'm trying to put you back into focus. There we go. Great experiment, right? So how would I make a glow? Would I do just a little bit of white? Let's use, let's use the airbrush for this. Maybe the airbrush will give it that hint. Because I did it pretty solid. We'll just go right down the middle of each of these pieces. I think because gold has a different shine to it if it's a chrome, chrome color, you know? I think it is because it's such a yeah shiny. there's no yeah there's no it's more yellow right like it would be a yellow highlight it just looks funky right i like I it not I think a you fan of that dip dip of highlight in the middle your highlight of the highlight How nice to have a steady hand, Jeff, says Jerry Peter. Well, thank you. I just think that it needs to be almost like a chrome yellow or something. I don't know. For the highlight? I don't know. What if you did this color for the highlight?
Do you guys have any questions about resin or about stencils or about airbrush or about why I can't get this camera to focus? Why can't you get that camera focused? <laughs> no one's asked, so. Well, You know what I really want to do? I want to do one with a grill. Yes. See, it kind of gives it that more of a highlight. What you could do. I'll have to text you my resin. Shoot me a text. TikTok thing is killing me. Might decide to buy another half gallon kit. Uh, hit me up, Valerie. Let's chat about it. I think it definitely adds to the idea that it's glowing. I just want to put a crystal in between all of those little highlighty doop doops, doop doops. So funny. So there you go. What's up, Don Parker? Good morning. I think I'm done with that. Remember, Jeff, you're doing the test so I don't have to. It's true. All right, I think I'm done. I think it'll be all right. I don't, I'm really not happy with the, I like the outline also. It doesn't make the white in the lips so stark. Okay, so your D here looks like a B because of the squish. So it looks like a Barbie B, and I love it. What kind of pen is that? Uh, it is a Posca pen. It looks so much different in person, but still love it. Yeah, you know, it's fun. I love the biting of the lip area. Fantastic, Jeff. Thank you. You got to put a little bit of a that tension. Yeah, there's tension in there on the stencil. It, it has it, but not too much, because I didn't want it to be like overbearing right here, to where it looks like you have a bunch of chipped teeth or you know something funky. But I think it'll be all right. Two chip teeth. 
the dainty doer says hi i'm not new to the channel but i'm new to chat i think this has been gone over a million times but i'm still confused what is the difference between casting and tabletop resin so the casting epoxy is going to be a lot thinner it usually right, has TikTok. less new we are out of here thank you guys for joining us one second thank you for the likes and, and the shares and if we've added somebody you guys are so awesome for joining us at ATD Family. We are artisttilldeath.com. I'm Jeff. That's Eric over there. Um, you can buy these stencils on our website, artisttilldeath.com. And uh, I appreciate you guys hanging out. Have an awesome day. Bye. I said bye. So, uh, casting and a tabletop resin. A tabletop resin is going to have a thicker viscosity because you want it to stay on top of the piece. And a casting resin is going to be thinner because you don't want it to get too hot too quickly in a mold and it has to be thinner so that it can release those air bubbles as you start to collect them because you, when you mix your two resins together it's going to be thicker right um most counter top epoxies have some sort of uv resistance in it some sort of hulls um something that will aid in it not yellowing too quickly and to my knowledge, most casting epoxies do not or don't as much as a countertop epoxy. So it's going to yellow over time more quickly than a countertop epoxy. Um, typically, countertop epoxies or tabletop epoxies are going to be more durable than casting epoxies because they have to have some wear on them because it's countertop as opposed to something that's cast just existing. It's not typically a functional piece. Um, casting epoxies, because they're thinner, take way longer to cure. I thought Bowie was behind me, but he's not. And that's everything that I can think of off the top of my head in terms of what the difference is between a casting epoxy and a countertop epoxy essentially use the resin for its intended use if you put a countertop epoxy into your molds then you you have to pour them to the thickness that it's recommended which is usually about an eighth inch not more than a quarter inch anything more than that it could get too hot could smoke could damage your silicone and it could cause it to yellow and so each one of your layers because you wouldn't be able to fill it up all at one time each one of your layers may have a different color because it may get a different kind of hotter that's not really words so if you pour a lot of a countertop resin into a small space it's going to get really hot really quick because it's not what it's made for and so when it gets really hot really quick it could cause it to pre-amber and so each layer if it's different depths will be a different color. So you'll be able to see each line when you do that. I hope that makes sense. Um, several different kinds of resin. I think I should maybe do some tests on coasters before attempting a bigger piece. I won't use stone coat. Okay. So it's always recommended to do a sample piece before you do an actual piece just so that you get a good feel for what that resin is going to do and Make sure your colors are what you want, the design elements are what you want, so it's always good to do a test piece. Whew. The Dainty Doer, I hope that I gave you some helpful knowledge. I hope I did. Uh, if not, I'm sorry. That's the best knowledge in the best way that I can relay that information to you. So, if there are no more questions, we have to go to Artco to do a bid for I don't even know what. Did he say what he wanted? What? Did John say what he wanted us to come do? Not paying attention. I just said I'm here. I won't use stone coat for ocean pour. 
I don't recommend Stone Coat for an ocean pour since they had to change their formula because of, um, remember when there was like production delays and issues with supply chain? That's not cute. I'm just going to roll with it. See if Jeff notices my troll here. Um, so because there were delays in supply chain and setbacks, they changed a little bit of their formulas. And since then, since it turned blue, I can't get the ocean cells like I wanted to. I know they're going to go, I think, closer back or fully back to the old formula. At least that's what I'm being told or was told. But till then. Till then? Till then, I'm using just resin to do my oceans. Damn, that really got my phone down. It's hard to know what to use in a deep pour and a short pour. So ultimately, if you're just learning, get a craft epoxy. This is going to be your Envirotex, light, your craft coat, things like that. It's not going to have a long working time. It's not going to have as good of UV resistance, so it's going to yellow a lot quicker. And it's not going to be as durable. You're going to get more scratches in it if it's a functional piece as opposed to a wall piece. Then there's art of resin. No. Then there's countertop epoxies. And countertop epoxies typically have the hour working time but are way more durable and way more UV resistant than a craft epoxy. And then you have your art epoxy, which is going to be a little bit more pricey. The cheaper ones are the, the craft and then countertop typically, then art, typically. Art's gonna be where you're gonna get your durability, at least in terms of stone coat. I know that stone coat art coat is the most durable for an art resin, and it has all the UV and holes in it. And then you have your casting epoxy and your flooring epoxy, and those need to be used just for what those are used for because they're thinner, they have a different working time because of what it entails to do casting and flooring. There's, I'm sure, many other kinds of epoxies. Those are just the ones that I've messed with and what I use them for. Oh, my pleasure, Donna. My pleasure, Julie. I'll go to your website and look for stencils. So Jerry, on our website, we only have the Lip Bite currently and Jeff's um, I think we have eye stencils and his bees. These are, they just look like splat. We do, we have an eye stencil for just doing eyes. Then so we have a full face and then we have the lip and then we have these funky things, which are used for getting hard edges when you're doing airbrush or spray painting, there's these. Which, by the way, we need to send Mike a set of this. We told, told him he would send a, uh, him those in Hawaii. Happy to see y'all. Jeff looks awesome. Thank you. Ms. Thorne, I'll text you later. Okay. <laughs> I use Mixed Media Girl Resin for an ocean look. Mixed Media Girl Resin is awesome. It's awesome. It. I wish it had a longer working time, but I think she may be working on that. Um, but in terms of UV resistance, durability, curing time, and ability to do oceans, it's great. She has great products. She has great paint, great resin. Thank you, Evelyn, for sending that link. Danny Dewar, my pleasure. So you guys, we gotta run and go give a quote for I don't even know what. It's no idea. A surprise going to art it, is, it is always a surprise going to Art Co because sometimes they want a countertop, sometimes they want us to do pieces for an art show gallery. Sometimes they want murals, body paint. It's never the same thing, which is awesome. We'll take it. 
anyways hope you guys have an awesome day we love you guys so very much join us in all of these places oh i got it on the first try mm. and um yeah be kind to one another you never know what someone's going through and always remember we do the test so you don't have to we'll see you guys tomorrow bye i said bye mm -mm -mm. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm.